One of the most popular stock music subscriptions I use on a daily basis is called Artlist. And in this video, I'm gonna be reviewing it and showing the pros and cons. So let's dive in and check it out. Three, two, one. Before we dive in, I did want to mention if you do want to try out Artlist for yourself, there is a link down in the video description. You can get up to two months free. So check it out if you're interested, but let's first go over the pricing of the different plans for Artlist. Now, if we go to the Artlist website, we'll go to the pricing tab. There's five different plans to choose from. The first one is music and sound effects only for the social plan. And essentially there's a social plan and a pro plan for music and sound effects. The big difference between these two right here is that the social plan is for solo content creators or video creators. So if you only have one YouTube channel, one social media platform that you post to, this is perfect. If you have clients such as, you know, if you work as a freelance video editor, you have people that post videos on their channel and you need to clear their channel or their videos, then you'll want the music and sound effects pro rather than social because social is going to be limited into how many different areas that you can post content. It is also worth pointing out that this is built annually so when you see 1658 a month that's going to be billed annually so you know obviously that would be times 12 and you'd have to pay that lump sum up front and the social category is the only one where you can actually pay month to month uh, a month to month plan for that is 1499 billed monthly or 999 per month billed annually so those are the differences then there's a few other plans to the right if you're interested in footage and templates that's 29 dollars a month billed annually and then max everything, which is essentially music and sound effects and footage and templates with a few other things such as plugins. You get a few different editing apps, image apps, and a few different extra things that are included here. That is gonna be $40 a month essentially. And then the enterprise plans, which you know, if you work for a company that has over 100 employees, you'll want to select this category and they will give you a custom quote. I think it starts at about $10,000 a year, but that's their high-end enterprise account. So that's the plans, but in this video specifically, I'm gonna be talking about the music side of things. If you're interested in the templates or the video footage, I did make a video, a full video, going over the Artless Max Everything Bundle. I will go and link that in the top right if you do wanna check that out. But let's see and talk about more about Artless Music. So if we go to their homepage, as you can see here from the top, we have recommended songs, which is really nice. Say if you work in a specific niche, they select certain songs that kind of fit the previous songs that you downloaded or the other projects that you've been working on, which is really nice because I sometimes create high energy edits or sometimes I create a lot of corporate videos. It gives a selection here right on the homepage of other songs that I might want to download as well. But for now, we're going to go over to the music tab. So if we go to the music tab, this is the main interface. And and one thing you'll notice, it's very clean looking, um, very simple UI, very easy to understand. You have the categories to the left, the main songs in the middle here, and your download options in the right hand side. So for the categories, you can sort by mood. So you have a lot of different moods you can choose from. To apply a mood, you just click the plus button. So if you're looking for something powerful, you can click that. If you want something you know that's not a certain category, you can always hit the minus button that will exclude it. So that's how that option works. Same thing with video theme. There's different themes in here. Say if you're working for a business, making a corporate video, maybe you're making a commercial. If you work in weddings specifically, you can select that. Now you will notice that they will auto populate in the top here. You can always uncheck it by clicking this X button to clear out your different selections here. It will narrow down the songs and only show you with those tags specifically that you have selected. There's also genre. So this is a very common tab for stock music. And then there's by instrument as well, which is very interesting. If you want just keys or orchestra, uh, sometimes I go in here if I'm looking for a very specific instrument. And then lastly, there's the spotlight section. The spotlight section is very unique when it comes to Artlist. I haven't really seen other um, music platforms really, really do something like this, but it's really cool because essentially what this is, is it's a list of curated playlists specific around a certain theme. For example, here, best commercial music 2023. So if you're looking for songs for a commercial, you can go in here and you can see this collection or essentially this playlist of songs that have been curated that would be good for commercial. Here's some other good examples down below for sports. For an example here, NBA 2K24, you can click on here and it gives like, you know, songs that would be similar to like the video game. They also follow a lot of pop culture in the spotlight section as well. 
For example, this playlist here, this collection will have songs similar to the scores that were used in Barbie. So you can see and browse these sections if you want certain music that fits a certain type of genre or video niche. But for now, we can go back to the music category and let's go over some of the options here. At first glance, you can see it auto-populates songs. To play a song, you just click the play button. This will play it out. Now, one thing you'll notice right next to the song is that it says new, and this is recently uploaded. It's a new song to Artlist, so keep an eye out for that. And then for some of the songs, you'll notice this little dropdown, and it'll say song versions. Now, this is something new to Artlist that came out within this past year or so. If you click the dropdown, you'll notice different versions of that song. For example, in this one specifically, you can download the option with no background vocals. So, you know, if you're looking for instrumental versions of this, for example, I'm So Lit. So maybe you like the sound of that song, but you don't want to download it with vocals. If you click the drop down, you can see that there's an instrumental version of the same song. So if we click play, So you can see we can download that. You can click the download button and you can download it in an MP3 or a WAV file. Now on the same note of similar song versions, one big weakness that Artlist has is you can't download individual stems. So for example here, if you just wanted the drums of the song, you can't download just the drums or maybe you just want vocals only, you can't download vocals. You either get just the instrumental version, the full instrumental version or the full song altogether here. That isn't an option. Where some other stock music websites such as Epidemic Sound and others, you can download individual stems and mix it into your video editing project. So either way, that's just something to be aware of if you want to try out Artlist. They don't have stems currently. Now to the right here, you'll see the waveform, the time, and all that. We just went over the download button. There is a similar songs button, which I find helpful. I like it. It basically, once you click it, it'll auto-populate similar songs that sound similar to this song. It uses the same tags. Sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. Here's an example here. So these songs sound similar. They're kind of adjacent to like the original song here. Um, if you like that, you can download this. Say if you don't want to download it right away, you can make a collection. So you can make your own collections by clicking this ellipses, add to collection. You can see that I have best of party. Uh, I have best of corporate. If I find a nice song for corporate videos, I'll add it to that. You can just type out a collection name and create your own collections or playlists essentially. That way, if you need certain songs for a certain type of video niche, you can go back in and download them when you need to. It is also important to realize that when you have an Artlist subscription, you're limited to how many songs you can download per day can only download up to 20 songs a day and it will restrict you once you pass 20, it won't allow you to download anymore. You'll have to wait 24 hours before you can download another song. Now at the top here you have, you can sort by staff picks. So by default, you know, it is kind of cherry picked already for you. By default at the top, it's already sorted by staff, but you can also sort by top downloads. So of the users themselves, these are the most downloaded songs from the platform, which can be very helpful. You know, I sometimes do that because, you know, at the end of the day, the usability of the song matters. So if people are finding and downloading the songs, I usually go there to see what other people are downloading. Uh, vocals and instrumentals, you can select instrumentals if you just want to find instrumental songs, or if you're looking for someone with a female voice or male voice, you can select those if you want a specific singer in mind. And then BPM, you can sort by slow, mid, medium, fast. So if you have a certain, you know, BPM that you're looking for, how many beats per minute, you can select that. And then duration, you can select how long any song is. But that's pretty much the overview of Artlist. That's how to use the different controls and the different features inside the website here. Now to clear videos, one last thing I did want to mention here, to clear a video, you'll go into your account. So my account here, and then you'll notice on the left side here, there is a clear list section. So in here, you can see I added my YouTube channel. So, you know, any videos that I upload to my YouTube channel will be automatically cleared. Same thing with my Instagram. And you even have more platforms down below as well. If you have other you know, podcasts, uh, website, you can add that there. That way it just clears it and makes sure that you're all good. Now I currently have the Max Everything Max Pro uh, bundle here, but keep in mind if you're social, if you pick the social category, you'll only see this option, I believe. 
uh, since I have max everything, I can clear individual videos here. So as you can see here, I cleared this video for the company I did a video for, and I cleared that for them. So if you work with clients such as this example here, you can paste in the URL of the, their YouTube video when they go to upload it, and it'll clear that video for them, and that way they can get monetized. But that's essentially it. That's Artlist in general. I do have to say I really like their interface. Um, it's my go-to place for music. In general, I know the type of music on here is very subjective. That's why I always recommend just try it out for yourself, see how you like it. But in general here, I do like it. I think their songs are very authentic. They're very driving. They're fun to edit to. Um, and you'll find a lot of very good songs in here. They're all very high quality. The, you know, there's no amateurs that are uploading songs into this website. They're all very authentic artists. And overall, that's my take on Artlist. But that's Artlist. Let me know what you guys think down in the comments section below. If you're not sold on Artlist and you're looking for another option, a similar option that's a little bit different is called Track Club. I will link that video right up there if you want to check out Track Club as well. But that does it for this video. I hope you enjoyed, and we'll see you guys in the next one. Take care.